What is up, animatronics? It is uh, the Archangel here. Now, we are doing something a little bit different. We're going to be using uh, William Afton's head as a base for a mannequin head. It's going to have a mannequin nearby. If you saw my Instagram, you know, the body, the skeleton for Shadow Freddy is now prepped. Uh, we are going to be sculpting the head on here. And you're going to actually see me do that, uh, which is going to be uh, interesting. Let me just uh, see if we can get the camera elevated. Give me a sec, because I'm having to kind of do this on a three-hander. Um, no, I'm just going to have it as is. Uh, sorry, have it as is. God, I can't speak today. Uh, I'm going to play music in the background, so, uh, but I'm going to keep one earphone out, as you can see. Um, so I just want to kind of... Uh, I've got a, you need a blade, a screwdriver. I'm only using this portion though to kind of press and round stuff out. And I'm kind of copying Robart's video to get the basic shape for Freddy's... Uh, Head. God's sake. Um, right, so move that out of the way. It, it will just stick on like that. We can pull it off afterwards once we've done. Um, this is quite easy. I've got to sit on my headphones, stop them, sit on one of my headphones, stop the music from playing through. So, not really done like a kind of, uh, I've not really done a sculpting vlog before, so um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm doing this in my college, which I have been allowed to do, and no, no one else is around. Uh, we're going to need this tool as well. You're going to need a lot of sculpting tools. Get a pack of sculpting tools. I'm trying to make this professional so at some point I will have my own tools to work with I just don't have the money right now because I spent a little bit of sci-fi convention on uh, meeting Ernie Hudson, William Shatner and getting it to one Kind of push all this excess up to the top and kind of uh, eagle it off the head like that. And uh, then I'm going to start, and what we're going to do is pop it back on. Uh, I'm going to build it up slowly. Um, I'm going to start with the basic of the shape, these kind of Maybe pops a bit of clay in there at the bottom, kind of. Uh, I haven't really done this, so this is probably going to be very bad. Ugh. I'm trying my best, guys. It's... I don't. Know, I'm sorry if you can't see very well, but I'll try and move a bit closer. There we go. Just kind of stick that to the head. So just get a, a bean like that, cut it in half. Can't really turn the light on in here, so I might see if I can kind of get the computer light to uh Kind of listen to a bit of disturbed right now, so um, yeah, 
Here's the big room. Just putting some music on, so there's some signal. There we go. B and B are pretty good. All right. Uh, let's get this on. So this song's pretty good. Uh, keep a black page. And kind of just uh, put a little bean on there, so we're starting to build up the cheek section. Kind of just blend it in. It's important you take your time with this because you really do not want to uh, make it look crap. I mean, we are gonna f we are gonna bugger the thing up anyway because this is Shadow Freddy. He's worn. He's knackered. Once you go like that, as you can see, it's one cheek. I'm oh, going to push it in a bit and then uh, I'm going to apply the other one on the other side. Uh, put it that way. So, I don't really, if this video is bad, I do apologise. Uh, this is my first time doing this kind of sculpting video. I really need to kind of do what um, Yobby Hobby, Crispin Crafts, and uh, Artsy Rush, and uh, Glory Chilik, those guys, and just kind of do what they do. Kind of get better, better, um, you know, um, better quality camera equipment. So I'm filming off a bloody iPhone here. And then uh, kind of take your screwdriver and just kind of push it in there. Kind of just uh, roll out the cheek section. Kind of make it look a bit different from the head and then press it a bit and then see if that will come off easily. It should come off relatively easily if you've uh, right, just smoothed that all up nicely. So what you should be left with is something like that. As you can see, it's on my think fingers now. Um, so I think uh, the eyes, I'm gonna kind of uh, fill the eyes and see on, on the, um, on the tutorials on the internet, they use uh, cold porcelain. I don't really know what it is, I've never used it. You can use things like, um, what is it? Um, so you can use, I can't, I can't think today. Uh, polymer clay, that's it, you can use polymer clay. Uh, this is kind of what I'm using. Uh, Super Sculpt, it is a kind of polymer clay. This tool is what I want. Uh, the eyes want to go right there. Push it in. Kind of wiggle it around there. Now it is going to be very ugly to begin with, so, but we are going to improve on it. Again, this is only the top half, the, the, the lower half will be brought to the table. So here we go. Uh, I'd say that's looking pretty good so far. Now we need is mix this up. Let's see how to make the jaw. Uh, and now he's pulling bits out the bottom because that's what these guys do with cold porcelain. I don't know why. Right, so we've got that part. I don't want to skip anymore. Uh, Kind of roll the ball and then kind of there we go. Uh, move that down a bit. That's looking like Freddy. Uh, which tool should I use? This one, this one seems to work the best. It is, this stuff is very soft, but uh, it, it's really, really good. Like, I've used it before, I'm trying to sculpt a human head, which is turning out not so great because I've not done it for a few weeks. But, uh, Oh, 
why I smell some of this stuff, but it smells weird, but I do quite like the smell of it. I don't know why. Now uh, we've done that, so I uh, just skip the video a bit. Kind of uh, do his eyebrows, and uh, we do need to weather this guy up, so. off, round it off through the nose. Maybe have his little nosy. Maybe a bit too big, I have to see it. Uh, that's actually all right. Uh, just, I'll, I'll use a, where's this one? Now, basically, Shadow Freddy is a normal Freddy, but he is heavily, heavily with it. Uh, so there's the nose. You could probably just—I can see it through the reflection of the camera, but there it is. It's uh, not super indented, but it doesn't need to be. It might have been more clay to actually, because that is a bit too far back. Again, it is quite crude, uh, but it's got to be because it's, you know, this is going to be pretty, uh, pretty weathered. We're going to weather this thing up afterwards. Not, and usually that's the term used for paint. But, uh, right, eyebrows next. Wow, that's quite an angry looking eyebrow. <laughs> I just quite enjoy this. This is a bit of fun. Um, just kind of, uh, I like to place them on with my hands. Just kind of just get them softly started. Um, I notice it's quite big on the picture as well, actually. So I guess it did get that right. Now, it doesn't really matter about blending the seams. Again, I'm using my finger to stabilize it, so this kind of does help, actually, making it hollow. Kind of uh, angle the eyebrow a bit, which I can do by manually pushing it. And then we've got to keep Reese figuring those eye holes because they are constantly disfiguring. And I can't, it's not really something I can bake. Uh, here's what I got done so far. Actually, he doesn't really have eyes that much, does he? No, he doesn't. Let me Google him. Uh, put the keyboard here. I really should have. Uh, where's the exit button? Oh, gone. Uh, I, I, I mean, the toy, the plushie has eyeballs, but uh, uh, 
ears are going. She's going to reach. He's missing one ear, and he does not have eyes, actually. So that's quite interesting. Uh, he does not have eyeballs. Uh, and that image is very short. Wow. Uh, these images are bad. Uh, is that what he looks like? He's really not all that weathered. Except for missing his ear, and that's it. Crikey. That's, uh, that's not really that hard to do, I guess. I'm a bit disappointed, because the FNAF... Uh, sorry, the McFarlane Toys construction figure had a lot more weathering on it. Well, then again, they did use a Phantom Freddy head, so, you know. Right, so what we're going to do now is just press a nice flat bit of clay... And we're going to embed it in the back of there. This might be easier said than done. Never mind, I got it in there relatively easy. Quite difficult doing inside work on a head like this. So, uh, let me get this done. Trying to make the eye holes look a bit more. Wow, he does not look happy. He looks quite angry. <laughs> As you can see, his eye holes are now blocked. The, the eye holes are now blocked off. Any anything that doesn't fit, again, this is going to get glued on and filled with milliput. So, um, you know. <laughs> I think we can copy from the picture now, actually. Uh, I'm going to squash that. And then, uh, really could do with something. Uh, cut this little, uh, actually, no, cut a little line there. I could do with something that's like a ball, really. Uh, I'll try and. What the? There's glue all over that. Ugh, it's disgusting. It's like slime. Foul bits of garbage all over the bloody tool. That's not helpful. Stop that. Jeez. Oh, it's gross. Uh, use this tool to kind of. my face. He does have teeth on the top and bottom row, so we're going to cut that. Is that big enough? It's a bit too big. I'm going to cut a bit off and then keep rolling it. Uh, I'm going to see it. Just do a quick test fit. It's always important to test fit your parts before you do them. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, so, what I will do is pop my finger in there, and where's that tool is there? There we go. Oh, crud. I'm not going to damage it now. I've been so well on this. This is turning out to be a very long video, guys. Right, because of this line in the middle, so let's get that in. Again, when I bake it, I can um, always slice to carve the bottom away because this stuff is good like that. You can do that. Right, teeth. This is the part I was. Uh, oh, shit, right, um, just, uh... There we go. Uh, where is my ear? My ear is here. That sounded very weird. Oop. 
Plan na on. I think I really enjoy using the Super Sculpty stuff. Uh, I might need to actually buy some of it myself. Alright. Now all we need to do before we do the rolls of teeth is sort out that hat. Uh, do the hat. This is taking me quite a long video. Uh, that's quite a big top hat. So what we're going to do is slice a bit off there. Slice a bit off there. Size it. Uh, that looks like a fez. Maybe if I just cut it down the size. That's not too bad. The wires I'll add in separately, so you need a ball that's stupidly big. Cut about a third off, because that's a bit too big. Again, it's important to take your time. Oh shoot, the mouse is in the way, you couldn't see, I'm so sorry. Don't comment about, Don't please don't complain about that in the comments, because I've just realised it. Need to take another bit off. Uh, I'll take this. Oh, that's turning out to be. That is quite a good little hat. That will be. Uh, That's looking really good. I'm quite happy with that. Now comes the teeth. It's got all the way around his head and then the lower jaw. It's interesting. We've got plenty to do though, but. So you just want to kind of, you want the teeth to be really straight. Now I've got an image here, I can't show you because my phone's in a skewish angle. Uh, I'm using the mirror mode. Uh, oh, actually that hat's not sticking on so I'm going to glue it on. Uh, kind of press it on the top. Press it down and just kind of just cut away as much. The teeth is the most difficult part, guys, because you want to get them really good. This could, I know I say this easy all the time, but this could be one of my best sculpts. Bonnie turned out really good. I'm very happy with Bonnie. Anything that doesn't work can just be filled up with milliput, so you know. That's a good thing about milliput. And it's going to be used for the body. Try and blend it in a bit. 
it does look quite crude on the inside, but let's face it, you're never gonna this is never gonna come off the figure. This is his head. Come on. Find to reach the tail feature where you stick a foot. There we go, just kind of line this all up. Make that in the nose a bit more. Right, now for the lies and the teeth. Actually, just I'll use these tools, these are better off. Oh, I just dropped that then. Right, so he's got. Does it matter if it has an even number of teeth? Right, so that's kind of what the best thing about Super Sculpt is you can just pop it back into shape. Ah, oh, just uh, allow me to cut a little neck out of the hat. Which is going to really set off some OCD, which is going to stink. Uh, but he's damaged, so it can we can work with it. And here we have. Just get the camera up to his eyebrows. Wires and extra bonuses will be super glued in. Now what I have to do is test it on William Afton. It's bigger than it should be, but the milliput will fill it out. Just pack some walls in. A bit of scrap. Because this has to sit and glue into the mannequin head itself. There we go. So those walls there and inside. And. Well, not fully baked. But here you have. It's very dark, just give me a sec, so I'm gonna take my earplugs out. Let me get some more of this light so you can actually see this. Here we have Shadow Freddy's head.
Sorry that this has been a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry if that does look a bit weird, I will try and tweak things out during the final version, maybe carve some bits away. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.